Once the vehicle is raised and safely supported, you're going to remove your 21 millimeter lug nuts. Remove your hubcap. Remove your wheel. If you look right along your inner slash outer tie rod end, you're going to see a jam nut right here. We're going to spray down this area with some penetrant. Then you take some nice long pliers like this, or you can use a wrench and break that nut free. There we go. Next, we're going to remove this uh, cotter pin right here. Let's use some cutters. Remove that. After that, you remove this nut right here. We're going to remove this nut using a 19 millimeter. Something that I like to mention real quick is it's always a good idea to replace both these inner and outer tie rod ends at the same time. There we go. Next we're going to take our hammer and we're going to bonk right here on the knuckle. Once you see it break free, you can discontinue hammering. Now we're going to unscrew the outer tie rod end from the inner tie rod and we're going to count how many turns. One, two, and so on. Okay, so I got 16. We're gonna install our outer tie rod end. I'm just gonna make sure the wheel's straight up there, and then I'm gonna try to get this as straight as possible, and just try to make sure that that's aligned. Whether or not you counted taking off the outer tie rod end, sometimes, even though you counted, it can still be off, and your wheel might be turned something like this or like that. So just get this as straight as possible with the vehicle. Make sure the wheel's in the straight position and then line this up with that. Let's insert the outer into the knuckle. We've got our washer and our nut. I'm just gonna bottom that out. Now we'll torque this to manufacturer's specifications. Let's torque this to 25 foot-pounds. Torqued. We've got our jam nut. Make sure you turn that in so it's up against the tie rod. And then make sure you snug it up. There we are. Now I'm just going to straighten out the tie rod so it's parallel with the ground. That looks pretty great. Now it's time to get our wheel up on here. Lift it up. Grab your hubcap. You've got your little valve stem hole. Line it up with the valve stem. Lug nut. Let's torque these lug nuts to 83 foot pounds. Torqued. Okay, so now that you finished your repair, it's important to make sure that you get your car safely down to a reputable local alignment shop.